guys, this is Mike with Dark Saint Studios bringing you the third and final tutorial regarding the biped. Uh, in this tutorial we will be covering um, combining multiple motion capture files or biped animation files onto one biped. Uh, so to get started we're going to create our biped and typically in motion capture files um, there is no information regarding fingers, toes, uh, depending on the capturing software, sometimes the head won't be available, so there's no point for me right now to set up these fingers or toes. And so, uh, ju just keep that in mind, actually, when you are animating that motion capture will give you a nice base animation, however, for all the fine details, uh, you're going to need to go in and edit it yourself. So, uh, to start off, if you come into just load file, and you'll see that I have a plethora of uh, biped animation files. Uh, I got these from um, Carnegie Mellon Graphics Motion Lab released um, 2,548 human motions, and... Um, I forget his name, but someone converted a lot of them into this .bvh.bip format. And so, to come through, you can download all of these, and I'll provide a link to this site. And uh, you can download them, and you can use all these motion capture files that have been converted to... Um, converted to use for biped. So come back into biped and here we go. So if you just load one up you'll notice you can do all the active calibration and there's the biped. But if we try to load another one, it just completely replaces it. So in order to get around all that, we're going to just delete. And you're going to want to come into the motion flow tab button, whatever you want to call it, and then we're going to click on show graph. Then we're going to come to create multiple clips, and you're going to want to navigate to wherever you have all these motion capture files, or your own animation files, and we're going to create uh, a small fight scene. So, we're going to come to... Uh, bow and then back handspring we're going to want dodge double round kick is there a punch? Punch, punch, punch. Where's punch? We'll do face hit. There we go. There's punch. It's in all in alphabetical order, so you would think I would find that earlier. And we're going to do final one, blown back. All right. So now we have all the animations that we are going to want to use in our uh, animation sequence. And if you click on one and you just click clip mode, you can see what all of these look like. Oh, well, if I had it all selected, you could see what it looks like. Uh, where'd it go? Come on now. There's the bow. And come on, where did it? There we go, for some reason. Show graph, there we go. It's glitched like that, it's click, clip mode. And for this bow, we don't want to use this first part where he raises his hand and bows. We will just want to use this second bow. 
So we're going to want to start from clip part 100. So if you exit clip mode and you right click, you can do start, click start it at 100. Now if you go into clip mode, see at frame 100 is where we're going to have it start. Yeah, okay. Uh, back handspring, we're going to check it out. Looks good. Looks good. Good. Face it. Mm, we want this to end at about 120. So make this 120. Punch. We'll look at. And blown back. Looks good. All right. Now, once we have all the times of the what we want set up, we'll go to define script. And this is where we define in what order um, the sequences get played. So, we're going to start with bow, and we will go to back handspring, then we'll go to dodge, then we'll go back to back handspring, to double round kick, face hit, punch, dodge, blown back. And to make it so we can see what exactly is going on, we're going to Move these all out. Okay. And here we'll show the sequence. So he bows, jumps back, dodges. Does another jump back, kicks that way, gets hit, punches, dodges, gets blown back. And you notice that in all these animations, he's facing a different direction after each animation. And that's what we are going to now fix. Make it so he's fighting. Uh, let's just make it so he's fighting just one person. So he's going to be facing uh, one direction when he's directing his attacks. So we can X out of this. And we're going to come down here. You notice when you get to the point where it says uh, transition, this is where we edit at which direction he's going to be facing. So with that jump back, we're going to want to actually have him rotate it a little bit so he's not jumping a little bit sideways. So we'll come to the edit transition. And we'll bring this over. And we're going to want to do it like 10. There we go. Looks good. Now he's facing that way. Uh, and then we'll come to this transition right here. And we'll click Edit Transition. 
and we don't want him looking to the right so we'll make this 45 oh negative 45 And now he's going to start rotating and going into this other back handspring. And so come to select this one, click Edit Transition, and negative 40, oh, oh, positive 45. actually going to want a little bit more, probably about 55. Now for these kicks, it starts to look left, so come to Edit Transition, and we'll make this 45. So he does the kick, gets punched, falls back, and edit transition, 90, 120, 150, all right, let's see. It's a little much. Well, actually, no, that looked about right. 150. And we'll make it both feet. And there we go. Um, for this one right here, I want to make this fixed. Now we're going to keep that as rolling. The difference between fixed and rolling is that for the, when you're doing the transition and the blending of the animations, fixed means that this second animation will not change uh, its location and will not blend. Whereas it's all the entire blending is dependent on the source for this case. But if we make them both fixed, you'll see that there's no blending between the two. He just rotates over. But when you have rolling, he still rotates over in a way, but it's more blended together. And this is what I'm talking about when you're going to have to come through and you're going to have to uh, do a little bit of your own editing for the animation. You're going to have to come through and use your layers and make it so he takes a step over when he rotates around and everything. So we'll click OK. And now we can play the entire animation. So he bows. Back. Dodges and gets blown back. Now, if you don't like the way that this is set up, like your current script, if you want to append it or something, you can go to Define Script, and you can do Create New Script, Redefine Script, or Append to End of Script. And for this, we'll just do Redefine. So we'll do Bow, Back Handspring, Double Round Kick, Face Hit, Punch, uh, backhand spring, dodge, punch, 
blown back. And exit. Now, because we redefine the script, you're going to have to go through and edit the transitions again. However, now we have a completely new animation sequence just by redefining the script. So once you have all that done, you notice if you exit motion flow mode, nothing's there. So we're going to come back to motion flow mode and we're going to click, once you're happy with what you have, you just click uni create unified motion. Uh, you can choose key per frame, um, enforce IK strains, all this stuff. Just click OK. Okay, and then exit, and there you have it. You have your entire animation sequence on your timeline. And from here, you can go through in your layers, and if you are unfamiliar with the layers of um, Biped, you can watch the previous tutorial, which I cover the layers. And you can see that there's actually quite a bit of fixing that you need to do. However, you just come through with this new layer and auto key. And we can create new keys. to fix the animation. Alright, uh, I'm not going to go through and fix everything because that would just be a lot of time. But hopefully you guys get the general idea and um, I'll be sure to post that link for all the animation files. And hopefully you guys learned something and hope to hope to see some of your guys' animations. Feel free to post video responses and if it's good I'll approve them and love to see how you guys use it. And we